What is up killers, Kev here and today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda on our website this week. This is going to be episode 457 within my series but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For the first spot within this video is going to be the Spectral Argonian Skull Spell. This one is going to be the Ghost version coming in 5.1 megabytes of a download. Adds a floating Argonian Skull Goal with the ghost effect into the game this one is going to be the apprentice level and is going to get stronger while you do too but this one the damage is going to be slightly less than an ice wraith and also as well within combat it absorbs health while it attacks very sufficient sort of conjuration follower i guess you could call it added within the game you can find this particular spell tomb within three different locations the first one the easiest one shall i say is going to be on screen now very easy and accessible to do break down into the cellar and pick this one up the tomb will be sort of categorized as stolen so make sure you learn it as fast as you can and once upon learning it you can pretty much pop this one at any given time this is a very interesting mod many more of these ones to come on to the channel smiley beats is definitely back through the Bethesda on our website. Hopefully we can see many more, if not altercations to this particular one added into the game. Plants animation removed, coming in at 20.5 kilobytes of a download. Removing plant animation will give you seven to five FPS boost within the game. Now, if you're like me, probably a little bit more due to the simplistic fact of I'm running an absolute killer floral mod, as you can tell on screen now, it is gonna be absolutely tanking the FPS within my game not too much noticeable for a person like myself running the xbox one x on this footage here but if you are running a slightly lower graded console and as well too to how many other mods you are running this one might actually help you within more than that frame of seven to five fps make sure to put this one somewhat higher at the top of your load order just for the simplistic fact of i don't want your game crashing and I personally i think it's going to be much more effective on that one overlapping all of the floor mods within the game there's going to be a before and after if you do want to see that over on imperial agents 1992's channel he does have his own youtube channel which he showcases all of his mods on there if you want to go and see a comparison of that one go over there and have a little look but as you can tell on screen now it's cut the animation out completely and a small difference has been noticed within my game Yet another main menu replacer coming in at 2.1 megabytes of a download. Once again, this is a custom made background from the mod author themselves that they made within the game, which is absolutely insane. This is going to obviously be the PC version of the game and the screenshot is going to be taken from. There's royalty free music playing within the background. A little bit of a sort of relaxing, calm feel to this particular one. I won't be playing playing it just to the simplistic fact of I don't want to run or cross any lines of copyright hopefully you guys understand but if you do like what you see on screen now which are probably a lot of you do then go over to the link down in the description click it and try this one out rings of ghost form coming in at 15.7 kilobytes of a download this adds rings to the game which give you that transparent glowing effect in several different colors to the game that you can easily pick up in any particular sort of playthrough or any particular stage of the game head over to the sleeping giants in at riverwood turn right after entering inside of the building and you will see a small barrel in the corner Basically go into there and have a little look and all the goodies will be in there. Due to how the ghost visual effect was designed within the game, that removes the transparency after the ring are unequipped. You can fix this by adding potions and poisons that give a temporary ghost feel and effect to your appearance. But personally, I think it's very nice. If you're gonna rock one effect, you're gonna have that through the entirety of the game. Maybe you're doing a playthrough. Maybe there is a beautiful build that you're currently working on. This might actually tipple it over the edge. Great for the PlayStation 4 users as this is gonna be the first from the mod author uploaded onto the Bethesda Night website. And it is going to be a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Shadow a Werewolf coming in at 12.6 megabytes of a download. Now the mod author didn't like how the vanilla werewolves looked within the game. They looked a little bit plain, a little bit stupid too. Moonlight Tales have been calling and for this particular one it 
does definitely check out it is absolutely beautiful as you can tell with the models meshes and textures are absolutely on point if you are playing a werewolf you want a sort of an immersive feel to an old school werewolf i personally would definitely choose this skin no particular load order for me on this one i instantly downloaded it jumped into the game and tried it out had to instantly because some of the screenshots were a little bit untrue but once upon heading into the game it was on point definitely hitting the, the nail on the head did not make any of the meshes or textures within this game mainly opted or open to the moonlight tales that is the quotation from the model so if not the description on the bethesda.no website very nice indeed guys if you are playing a werewolf and as said before you want that kind of law friendly if not that traditional werewolf feel within the game as a skin this is probably gonna be the go-to so guys that's the end of this episode hopefully guys did enjoy if you did i would very much appreciate a like on the video it does help me out an awful lot if you're new around here too and you haven't already why not click that subscribe button it's absolutely free right next to it as well there is going to be a bell icon now if you click that in some way shape or form every single time i upload a video like this to the channel you will get notified for when it does pop up straight away not a minute too soon, hopefully. YouTube's been a little bit glitchy so far, but hopefully it will be an instant notification. Guys, until the next one, Killer Kev here and Killer Kev out.